more than people kill it work here every finish. Holla at you again. What's good? All right, so about to drop, drop this uh, fasted cardio off. And uh, I got my black coffee right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split my time between the treadmill and the bike. All right, so sitting at about, not at about, but I am five weeks out from uh, my first national competition in the USA. I'm here in Vegas, July 29th and 30th. And so uh, not doing a ton of ton of cardio, but I'm doing seven days a week, 20 minutes a day. And so I split it uh, between the tread and the bike, high intensity of both. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So take y'all on a ride with me today. Hope you enjoy the day, man. Let's go. Now the key to the bike is, <clears throat> you gotta keep it intense, man. <clears throat> now the key to the bike is, you gotta keep it intense. You can slow pedal, but if you're gonna slow pedal, make that resistance really hard. Because this bike can dice your legs up. If you're getting ready for a show, man, I advise you, I highly advise you, the bike and the stairs to nice your legs up. I don't have a Stairmaster at my gym, so I just put the treadmill on incline and uh, walk. But the results that I've gotten from doing the bike and the stairs combined, man, ridiculous. So <clears throat> one year I didn't do the stairs, I did the bike and the treadmill on incline, and they were super nice too. So. <laughs> Some of my best condition that came from this bike, so, you know, definitely gonna stick to it. Well, challenge yourself, and I can promise you, after five minutes of riding this bike, man, your legs are gonna burn. Quads, hams, glutes, everything's gonna be on fire. Hopefully you can make it past the test, man, because I did, ha! Whew, all right, drenched in sweat here. Nice, though. I'm about to knock out some abs, but as you can see, we got something happening. See the legs. See the legs, see the legs. I'm pumped right now. See my gonna fully flex. Calf spike is looking better though. Hamstrings ain't out there yet. Yeah man, so. Starting to get dice, people. All right, so real quick abs. There's two ab routines a day usually. So I'm doing my morning abs right now real quick. Four sets right here. Regular crunches, nothing spectacular about them. People always ask me, what do you do for your ab routine? Whatever I feel like. It's like, nothing major with me with abs. I just squeeze the ab the whole time during exercise. Just finished that. <clears throat> just got done running some errands and uh, yeah. ate my breakfast. And now it's time for Camp KRB. So let's see who all is at camp today. I do a free camp every Saturday if you're in the area. It's a co-ed camp, so men and women. Let's see who all is at camp this morning. Good morning. She's like, oh no. How you ladies doing? Good morning. What's your name? Sally. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're the wife? No, You're the wife. Friend, yeah. Okay. Uh, Hi. Tina. Nice to meet you. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you, Tina. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good morning. Tell me, tell me your name again. D. D. What's up, D? How you doing? Thanks for coming. It's Aaron right there. You ready? Aaron. I'm ready to do this. Aaron. 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 <laughs> What's up, Michelle? Okay. Ready to do this? Nope. Got our shades on. They some cool cowboys this morning. <laughs> hey! Oh, this is my girl right there. Try to sneak on up in there, huh? Thank you. This is my schoolmate right here. Good to see you. What's up, TK? Okay. 
You good? Listen. Hit that before we get into it. <laughs> Kate, what's up, Kate? You ready? Why everybody got these shades on and stuff this morning? No, not TK. Oh, Bossy, Bossy right here? Oh, yeah. Y'all ready to jump? Oh, I forgot about them. I'm tripping. Uh huh. What's up, ladies? Y'all, see, y'all tall on yourself. I wouldn't even came over here if it wasn't for all that. Uh, uh, Urban Life in the house, 24. Marshawn Lynch, big baby. <laughs> he retired. We just retired his shirt, too. All right, y'all ready? We're going to do a warm up lap. Angela, the camp's this way. <laughs> We're gonna get you one week, don't worry. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Big steak nasty. That's what I'm talking about. Why oh, you look out golden? Did you tan? I am tan. Already. <laughs> Angel, first. don't hit the campers, I man. Gotta be first. And about to kick us off with the uh, cone drills and a little warm up, some stretching. Come on, ladies, bring it back in. All in one. Now, y'all, hey, ladies, come on, let's go get out of here now. Now, y'all, oh, now, y'all finna get in the you sun. You want that now, y'all? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on with her. All right, ladies, we thank everybody for coming out. Appreciate you for your hard work. We do this for free because we want to get back to y'all so we can help y'all get in the shit. Like, you know, things that we do. We had a lot of Robert. Donations, so if you want to relate to us, we're going to take that for $1,000. That's his opinion. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing these women to come out. We ask that you uh, bless them and let's keep them in a healthy lifestyle. Bless them and let's keep them in a healthy lifestyle. Bless them and let's keep them in a healthy lifestyle. Bless them and let's keep them in a healthy lifestyle. Ah, yeah. Rapper reaction. How are you feeling about this? Terrible. Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I gotta hate you right now. <laughs> so I go to add on Kim Kelly. Kim Kelly. Kim, Kim Kelly. Kelly. Saturday, that's the old Kim. That's the old blast. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, talk to me. What you Don't, want to hey, say? PG now. Okay, PG. PG. I feel good. I feel great. You feel good? I ain't died today. Talk to me. I saw the light, but I came back. Hey, <laughs> that's all that matters. I don't care. First day. Talk to me. It was great. Would you come back? Don't. Yeah. Office say, you better lie and say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, talk to us. Talk to us. How you feeling about the progression? You tired? You say what, but you like it? Hey, new person. What's your name? Lisa. All right, Lisa. You're work <laughs> Hey, we're good. Yeah, that's it right there. Mm hmm. Shout out to Birdie. What's up? He got he got people in the building. He was trying to boss hog y'all too. He be like, oh, you coming? Yeah, he does. He Tell him how you feel about it. Text first thing this morning. But she, camp. but she killing it though. Hey, that's what's up. He looking out. See, I already know. I'm already on it. You sure is. She, he been there trying to kill her. Come on now. What? Tell us your name again. D. D. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm tired. Light skin tired. Or you just tired? All right, guys. So uh, just finished camp. Now I'm about to uh, do some posing, but first I'm going to stretch. So it definitely helps, man, when you uh, stretch before you pose. So all you guys out there that hate stretching, bring it into your uh, regimen, man. You definitely want to stretch because it's going to help you. Help you open up, help you be limber, help you be loose, and it's great for the classic stage. And it's great for you that really want to bring, uh, bring out those aesthetic poses. So stretch. And over here training this client. Look at that big fan. What's up, man? You over here shaming up your client? Yeah, yeah. Y'all done? What's up, Allison? How's your workout going? What's that mean? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. How's your I feel workout? My legs. That's how it's going. <laughs> you hating your legs? Uh, oh, you can't feel them? She loves her legs, though. Yeah, I know. She has a love I think I'm lying. She <laughs> doesn't have her.
here we go guys sitting down after the posing eating meal number three which consists of uh, chicken white rice and uh, some broccoli drinking me a Gatorade too man to uh, replenish I'm watching my boy Kai aka Mr. Get It Done Green Big Ant over there chilling So I'm about to scarf this down real quick. And uh, we're gonna be getting up out of here in a minute, man. It's like 5.30 or so. We better close it down at six, man. And uh, you know, yeah, that's it. Next chapter of the day. So as you can see in my posing, man, you know, I was just uh, playing around with some stuff, really just holding the poses, looking at myself in them, making sure I look good in certain stuff, and just working on tweaking some stuff. And I got into my aesthetic poses, just really wanting to um, flex the muscle out and uh, stretch it and uh, just find some stuff. I'm just looking for a flow right now. What poses look best for me? So I'm playing with a lot of stuff. As you can see my flows and my movements, you know, I just really want to look real graceful. So um, don't have my routine down together yet. I want to get certain poses that I'm still working on here first, and then I'll start, uh, you know, uh, cultivating it. So what I do usually for my personal routine is I, I get like, oh, I get like, five to seven poses in my head that I know are poses that I want to hit in a routine and I just start working on those poses you know mentally and physically and then from there I start putting them together which one looks better first so I might go to aesthetic bicep boom you know I might bring that up and come back to double bicep boom you know that kind of stuff and it's just in my head and I just keep playing it out think about it every day and you know whatever one looks better first then I, I put them in that order and um, which I taught my, my guys the same thing, Aunt Trey, you know, everybody that we pose and stuff like that. We don't pose to music when we're learning a routine. We pose to the pose. So we learn the poses, we master the poses. And then because we have the poses mastered so well, we can post to any song. You know what I mean? Like you could take the pose, the posing routine, and you could put it to rock, you could put it to classic, you could put it to hip hop, you could put it to R&B. And the only thing you need to do is either slow the pose down, speed the pose up, slow the transition down, speed the transition up, hold it longer. You know, that's the kind of stuff that you need to tweak in, in the routine, but you gotta learn the pose first. So I always suggest to anybody, if you wanna be uh, good at your routine, or if you wanna master your routine, master the pose. Because if you know where you're going next, it doesn't matter about that song. You just find a flow, or even flow through a song. And bob your head every now and then. You know, you may do a little movement or, you know, a wink at the crowd or something, or look back over your shoulder on the bicep. That'll make it feel more like he's inside the music. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like the same way that Ant connects with singing. It's the same way that I kind of come up with the concept for posing routines. It's kind of like music to me. So when I look at a routine, I'm like, you know, we got to flow through this beat. we got to flow through this song after we've already got the, the uh, the, the music or the melody of the pose. Anyways, giving y'all all my secrets, man. You can come to me for posing lessons, you know what I mean? Like, I do posing lessons as well, guys, so if any of you are interested in hiring me as a posing coach, I can do it uh, via internet as well, you know what I mean? I can send you some posing tutorials that I will compose myself for your routine and some mandatory stuff that can really help you guys out on the classic and bodybuilding stage. No, I don't do physique posing, uh, so, uh, not going to do that, but anyways, classic and bodybuilding. If you guys need me help, hit me up. If you're in the area, come on down, and, uh, you know, I can help you put up to put this something together. Very nasty. All right? See you later. All right, guys, so that's it. <clears throat> Back at the house. Sleepy. Better take a nap. But uh, getting my last meal in. Well, not last meal, but second to the last meal, and uh, which is um, eight ounces of cod and a cup of rice and a cup of broccoli. I already ate the broccoli, so. Yeah, man, you see that red stuff? You've been following me for years. I have not dropped the ketchup and uh, really probably don't plan on it, man. I used to use barbecue sauce, but I just got burned out on it, so. Ketchup it is, man, hey, you know. It is what it is, man. And um, I'm feeling pretty good about this prep, guys. I feel good about my weight. I'm still thick right now, sitting at about 245-ish, um, approaching four weeks out from the USA, which is July 29th and 30th in Vegas. If you're in the area and you can afford to go to the show, please, guys, come on out and show some support. I might go pro that night or that day, so uh, it'd be pretty cool to have some of my supporters there in the house to shake hands and take some pictures and get some hugs, man. It'd be really cool. Uh, so you can meet me and Trey Wilder, but if not, we'll be in Vegas 
uh, you know, that week of uh, July. So, you know, hopefully we can meet some people out there, man. And, uh, you know, like I said, just feeling really good about this, feeling really good about the show. Um, I think I'm going to really focus on some uh, really uh, eccentric poses, Um, not necessarily focusing on poses that I've found from somebody else, but um, I like different, you know, to use different people's transitions. But some of the poses, I'm going to maybe original poses, um, you know, just because I want to really highlight my physique and really display my talent of posing and what I can do. And um, I just want to bring some fire to the stage, man. So definitely excited about it, man. And, um, you know, four more weeks, man. So four more weeks of dieting, four more weeks of hardcore training. Uh, Tomorrow, going back to the same split that we used um, to get Trey and Ant ready for the Ronnie Coleman that I got ready for Phil Heath, which is chest, back, and shoulders Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, legs, and arms. So I'm going to use that split the last three weeks leading up.